next we will see how the gain of a system can ensure the stability of the system okay so here you have a closed loop transfer function a standard closed loop transfer function okay and you have a gain k in the forward path okay so here you have in the forward path okay so the transfer function will be kg by 1 plus kgh because in the forward path instead of g we now have k into g okay so this is the transfer function that we will obtain for this diagram okay so the characteristic equation will be 1 plus k into g of s h of s equal to 0 okay so this is the characteristic equation and we can see that the roots of the characteristic equation will now depend on the gain k right so using suitable gain we can ensure that the system is stable so in order to understand this we will consider an example here so the characteristic equation of a feedback system is s cube plus k s square plus 5s plus 10 is equal to 0 okay so for a stable system what is the value of k okay they are asking for the value of k should be greater than what value for the system to be stable okay so here the characteristic equation is already given in terms of k s cube plus k s square plus 5 s plus 10 equal to 0 okay so what do you do in such a case the first and foremost step is to construct the route table okay so here you will start from s cube and then you have s square s to the power 1 and s to the power 0 okay so the first row elements will be the coefficient of s cube that is 1 the coefficient of s to the power 1 okay that is 5 and next we have coefficient of s square which is k and the coefficient of s power 0 which is 10 okay and what will be the elements of s power 1 row that is 5k minus 10 divided by k here you will have 0 okay and this row it will be 10 okay so the first step is to construct the route table okay now we want the system to be stable so what is the condition for system to be stable the condition is that there should be no sign change for elements of the first column so these are the elements of the first column 1 k 5 k minus 10 by k and 10 okay so 1 is positive okay and k should be greater than 0 okay in fact if k is not greater than 0 then you don't even have to go till the route table the system will become as uh, will becomes unstable as it is because k is a coefficient of s square so k should be positive along with other coefficients so k should be greater than 0 this is one condition okay and next in the s power 1 row you have 5 k minus 10 divided by k this should also be greater than 0 right so here you have k should be 5 k minus 10 should be greater than 0 because k is already greater than 0 okay so k should be greater than 2 okay so these are the two conditions for the system to be stable so what is the answer here for a stable system the value of k should be greater than Next we will do another question which involves the gain okay but this question is a little different okay here the frequency of sustained oscillation for marginal stability of a control system and operating with negative feedback s okay so here it is given that for a system having this open loop transfer function and negative feedback and is marginally stable okay then in this case what is the frequency of the sustained oscillation so we know that for a marginally stable system there will be sustained oscillations and we have to find out the frequency of that sustained oscillation so there is nothing to worry here it is just that for a marginally stable system the roots will lie on the j omega axis okay so the value of that omega the value of omega 
is what is the frequency of sustained oscillation okay so what we have to find here we first have to find out the characteristic equation we have to apply the routh criteria the routh hurwitz criterion okay and using this routh hurwitz criterion we have to find out the condition of k for which the system is marginally stable okay and once you find out this value of k you have to find out the frequency of sustained oscillation okay so as simple as that so the characteristic equation for a negative feedback system is 1 plus gh is equal to 0 so here you have 1 plus 2k by s into s plus 1 into s plus 5 is equal to 0 okay so this you will get s cube plus 6s square plus 5s plus 2k is equal to 0 okay so for this you will apply the routh criteria s cube s square s to the power 1 and s to the power 0 okay here you will have 1 5 and here you will have 6 and 2 k okay so here you will have 6 into 5 30 minus 2 k divided by 6 here you will have 0 here you will have 2 k so what should be the condition for marginal stability the root should be lying on the j omega axis when will that happen when all the elements of a row become zero okay that is case two we have discussed the special cases of rh criteria so this is case two okay so all the elements of a row should become zero one thing you have to remember is the auxiliary equation will always be of even order that means it will be either s square row s power 4 row s power 6 row okay so the row which becomes zero all the row where all the elements of that row become zero they will have odd power of s okay so here s power 1 which is the odd power of s that should become zero so that auxiliary become equation can become the row containing s square okay so 30 minus 2k by 6 should be equal to 0 for the system to exhibit marginal stability okay so what is the value of k here k is equal to 15 okay so here you have found out the condition for k to be marginally stable now remaining is to find out the frequency of sustained oscillation okay so here always remember that it is easier to find the roots of the auxiliary equation okay so what is the auxiliary equation here we will form it from the coefficients of from the row s square okay so 6 into s square plus 2k is equal to 0 this is the auxiliary equation okay so k is equal to 15 so you have auxiliary equation 6 s square plus 30 is equal to 0 okay so if you solve for this you will get s is equal to plus or minus j root 5 okay so what will be the roots that are lying on the j omega axis j root 5 and minus j root 5 okay so this is j omega 1 and this is minus j omega 1 so what is the frequency of sustained oscillation it is root 5 okay so root 5 radians per second is the frequency of the sustained oscillations.